Good afternoon, folks. Witcher here with the 16th installment of The Frugal Modeler. And what does Switcher have hiding underneath that tissue? Well, we're going to, uh, we'll get to that. Patience is a virtue. <laughs> uh, the Frugal Modeler, okay, uh, the, the channel was created uh, mostly on how can we save bucks in our hobby and so on and so forth. But at the same time, uh, it is... Um, thinking out of the box, okay? Uh, how can we uh, repurpose uh, household items, okay, that we have lying around and uh, to accomplish a need uh, that we may have in modeling? Uh, this is uh, something I've uncovered today after thinking about it over the weekend. Uh, it is not my idea, okay? Uh, the idea is mine. I mean, this particular, what we're going to show here this afternoon, but what spurred me to think, okay, is something that Norm uh, did over the weekend on his MRAP, okay? Uh, he did uh, armored glass windows. Uh, the product he used was uh, Alkyd 2 armored glass uh, uh, lacquer or whatever. Uh, as he stated, uh, it is extremely hot, okay? In other words, it'll melt plastic if you're not careful with it, and so on and so forth. It requires lots of practice. Uh, he, he went through it. Uh, he showed us the final results, which were absolutely phenomenal, okay? Uh, part of the conversation I had over the weekend with Norma says, um, couldn't we just uh, dip it in there uh, like the aircraft dudes uh, do with their canopies? You know, they just dip it in future and uh, let it dry. Could we do that? He said uh, it would be a great idea. Unfortunately, the stuff is too hot. It'll just melt the plastic. And go, Damn. Well, so much for that idea. So I got to thinking and so on and so forth. And uh, uh, I have a vehicle, uh, the Academy uh, M1151, okay, which is a uh, armored carrier and so on and so forth. And I've got glass on there, and I would like to do the windows. I, after I saw the window, I mean, uh, I, I got I got to do that. Uh, I spent a good portion of the weekend uh, looking up uh, all clad two paints and so on and so forth. Uh, there is a, uh, a source in, in Canada, Norman, Ontario, Seaward or something like that. Uh, in case you're wondering, uh, for the future or whatever, uh, there's several. Uh, if you want some links, I'll, I'll, I'll send them off to you. I've got several of them uh, linked up. Uh, one of the, the Alclad 2 paints are used uh, a lot by car modelers and all that because they're just because of the finish that you can get with them, and, and it's absolutely out of this world. Don't get me wrong. One of the things in my reviews that are during my research is that they're all applied against primer. And uh, and paints and so on and so forth. They're not used uh, straight out of the bottle, okay, or straight onto the model, okay. So I don't know if this is significant or not. Uh, regardless, okay, uh, this was all about uh, Breen Fugel and trying to find a way to uh, solve a, a given problem, uh, and uh, hopefully in a uh, non-toxic manner, okay, in other words, uh, environmentally friendly and so on and so forth, and uh, this is what I come up with, okay, there's my version of the armored glass, uh, another code on that could uh, bring her darker, but uh, as you can see, uh, there's my armored glass, and here is a piece of Lexan, okay, clear Lexan that uh, is beside it. And just to show you that uh, the camera's not in focus, okay? It's very hard to uh, to get that to bring in. Uh, nonetheless, uh, uh, let's see if I can't uh, get a close-up shot, see if she'll focus in on that so we can see that there is no distortion on the letters. Uh, very hard to do because of my setup. Um, there we go. Okay. Now, in case you folks are wondering, I'll flip this around <laughs> for so uh, for those that could be uh, read backwards. Okay. Coloring blend charts. Yes, folks, you guessed it right. It is food coloring. And why did I use that? Well, Future Floor Polish. Okay, it's not a wax. It's a polish. It's an acrylic. Uh, polish, okay? Acrylics are water-based. 
There's emulsifying agents in there to keep uh, certain products in, in suspension. Food coloring is basically a water-based product, okay, uh, pigments, okay, and they use propylene glycol as a carrier, which is also the same stuff that is used in, uh, in the air filtration systems in hospitals. It's used as a propellant, okay, in the asthma inhalers and so on and so forth. And it's also the carrier for my uh, part of uh, an e-cigarette. So, going on uh, what I'd... Uh, Learned from Norman all that good stuff. I made my own bottle of uh, armored glass liquid. Okay. Uh, it's in future floor wax or floor polish or whatever. Uh, you'll have to play with your ratios, okay? You'll have to go a hell of a lot, lot darker than uh, what you think you're going to need. I uh, just made a little bit, a little bit in a, uh, a plastic tray. Okay, not a plastic tray, but a metal tray and all that good stuff and color it up and stirred it with a toothpick, stirred it with a toothpick until I got the right consistency. I dipped it. I wasn't happy. Dipped it again. Uh, uh, the other piece has got a big fingerprint uh, marked on it. Um, but there you have it. I haven't sprayed this in um, uh, an airbrush. Uh, one of the things that... Uh, is good about it. Uh, Future does not affect airbrushes, okay? Cleans up with water, okay? And so on and so forth. Not like the Alcad 2 uh, paints, uh, which are extremely toxic uh, to some airbrushes. Norm dedicated an airbrush uh, for that. Uh, not one of his best airbrushes, but uh, because of uh, the seals and all that. So unless you got uh, PTFE or Teflon, Okay, uh, seals and bushings in there, uh, it's going to play havoc on, on, on your airbrush. And that was something that I'm going like, uh, duh, I'm not going to be building multi freaking vehicles here um, with armored glass. Uh, and uh, do I really want to uh, screw up an airbrush? So I thought out of the box and uh, I did the clear. If we take, we'll take this off and we'll just put it on the white there. And as you can see, there we have it. And uh, here's the piece uh, beside it. Okay, the clear like sand and then uh, the armored. I didn't bar to clean the glass. The first part I did, this one I didn't. You can see there's a little smudge in it. Uh, this top corner that you see here, okay, that is discolored, okay, is where the clamp was to hold on to it. Okay, but other than that, uh, it did a job. So um, it's a solution. Um, not trying to burst your bubble norm, okay? Uh, we had, we only, I know we only had a short discussion, but, uh, you came across this product. I shared with, with the community. Uh, excellent. We, we, we love what you do for us and all that good stuff. Um, here is a, a simple solution that, uh, for folks that do not want to deal with, uh, Alkyd paints and so on and so forth. Uh, it's like you said, uh, the smell, it's hot like hell. If you don't get it right, you're going to you're going to uh, melt your plastic and all that good stuff. Um, this is a simple solution. Um, something that I haven't tried yet, and it is pretty dry, and we're going to try to rub it off. And it doesn't rub off, okay? It is part of the thing. And uh, by all means, folks... Uh, I'm out there looking for ways to, to do things, uh, not only a cheaper way, but perhaps in uh, a friendlier way, a more uh, environmental friendly way. Uh, the other thing, too, is that this was relatively cheap. I mean, I got all the colors. It cost me $2.99, okay? I got red, blue, and green, uh, yellow. These are all your basic colors, okay? There is a color chart there on how you can create... Uh, different colors and so on and so forth from uh, uh, a bright orange to a light orange to a brown and, and you know so it has multiple uses okay and if I want to bake a cake well I've got food coloring to do that that's the whole purpose behind the frugal monitor is to find something and uh, bring it to you folks um, and uh, it's always a pleasure uh, to do this the frugal monitor didn't have an episode for a while and Thanks, Noam, for spurring my gears. That's all I have, folks. Thanks for watching. Switcher, signing off.